first of all, I'm passionate about, I've been passionate about sports my whole life. So I've been involved in, uh, you know, I uh, have, have an extensive uh, athletic background and uh, I just wanted to continue after my playing career in the NFL. I want to continue, uh, you know, my education and, and, uh, and what, what I did is uh, basically uh, opened up a gym and um, uh, I want, uh, my passion was, was training athletes and mentoring them. And so, uh, uh, but one of the things is uh, mentorship here. Uh, so we really focus on that because we believe that uh, athletes need to train their minds, their bodies, uh, and that, you know, uh, and from a spiritual standpoint, uh, we got to keep them on, on a spiritual uh, path as well. So, uh, just my passion is giving back to the young athlete. Uh, just hoping uh, I can pour in my knowledge, and uh, that's why I opened up a uh, training facility. Let's get it. Come on, Bray. I know. Hang in there. Come on. Let's go. Get that chest up. Let me see your chest. Let's go. Load up. Get high. This is me. So I've gotten a lot faster, I've become a lot stronger, and I've become an overall better athlete. I do arm workouts, core workouts, and leg workouts, and speed training. I have a lot stronger ability, I've gotten a lot stronger in general, and my speed has gone a lot faster. You should yeah. 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 In today's youth sports, being good is just not good enough. And to be great at something, you have to put in more time. Being a, your regular practices don't allow your kids to develop, so you have to train outside of practice to really be great. I'm seeing improvements right away. Uh, and, um, and again, it all depends on how much you want to push your kid, but we, we're looking to be great, not just good. And we're seeing the results as we speak. I'm supremely happy. And I, I, we're good. We're very happy about that. Absolutely, I'd recommend to all parents who want to be great. Again, being good is fine, but if you really want to be great, you have to practice outside of practice, and that's what specialized training. Your toes up. Throw some flips. There you go. Slide out a little bit. Right there. Arms up. 25. That's it. Keep the weight out there. Right there. The further you hold it out, the, the harder it is. Uh, one of the things we focus on is speed. Uh, that's uh, a lot of athletes coming here and want to get faster. So uh, we're, we're working on a lot of explosive movements, a lot of functional movements, and uh, work on movement skills, agility. Uh, and you know, we're just trying to get the athlete to produce force fast. So uh, just trying to get everybody faster, more explosive, and hopefully that translates to the field. I think uh, the number one challenge is uh, getting opportunity, you know, to get their skills, uh, you know, seen. So uh, I believe that uh, all the camps and the 707s and, you know, what have you, I think that's, a, that's, that's really good because it gives, uh, gives these high school athletes an opportunity, uh, you know, to get, to get seen. Uh, a lot of kids get overlooked, through, you know, through the years and, you know, sometimes the camps uh, help, helps them get recognized. My athletes really, uh, they really progress really well, and I think the main key to that is consistency. Uh, you know, the athletes who, who stay committed to the program, uh, they see the best results, and uh, so. I encourage all, my, all of my athletes just to you know, stay consistent with their training and just be patient because it's, it's a process. And, but uh, I have some, some really young athletes uh, doing really well, uh, really improving their speed and power. So I'm excited moving forward.